obviously it was a huge shock. My heart sank. Um, I've had a junior tournament for 14 years now, the Webb Simpson Challenge. He was the first ever winner. Um, I remember uh, that day like it was yesterday when he got the trophy. I knew he was going to be a great player from, from day one. Um, and I just played with him uh, at Charlotte the first two days. And um, we had a great time together. Um, and his game looked good. And um, I just hate it. I hate it so much. I've gotten to know him even better this year. We shared a meal together at Pebble Beach with his fiance, and um, I know she's hurting, and everyone associated with Grayson Murray is hurting, but um, I know that he came to faith, placed his faith in Jesus Christ this year, I think it was. Um, and so, you know, I hate it, I miss him, uh, but I'm thankful that he was in the place he was in with his faith before uh, this morning happened. We get so worked up out here about, you know, bad break here or good break there. Okay. <laughs> you know, we're so competitive. It's so competitive out here. We all want to beat each other. And then something like this happens and you realize that we're all just humans. And it's just a really it's just a really really it's a really hard day because you look at Grayson and you see in him like someone who has you know visibly outwardly struggled in the past and he's been open about it and then you see him kind of get his life back to a place where you know he's feeling good about things it's just so sad I mean I, mean, I was with him yesterday and He's playing great. Like, his game is so good. He's so good at golf. It's a huge loss for, you know, for all of us on the PGA Tour. It's a huge loss for our fans. It's a huge loss for, in a time like this, you realize that as much as we want to beat each other, as much as we want to be competitive, we really are. We're one big family, and, and we lost one today, and that's, that's terrible.